Okay, listen, pay attention. Let us give a hand of applause to South Africa. We have seen their beautiful queen. South Africa, nice one. Nice one, South Africa. We have seen your beautiful queen, okay? We have seen the reason why you chose this person over this person. But I want to ask you a simple question. How do I explain to my born children that this person is more of an African in Africa than this person is an African in Africa? I don't understand. Even Queen Amina of Zaria and Queen Cleopatra of Egypt will be so disappointed with your choice of queen. You know, I am a Pan-African and I always believe that it's need for Africa to tolerate one another. But in recent time, your attitude and your pride and your arrogance, the attitude that most of you exhibit, and mind you, I am using the word and the terms most and some, so I will not be get caught in the web of extergeneralization. Because for so long, you people are pushing the rest of Africa to the blink of insanity. And you know what the philosophers say? When you push a man to the blink of insanity, he becomes dangerous. History should have told you. You know, we so much respect Madiba Nelson Mandela. We so much respect him. But you see, it's as if the respect we have given him that you guys are trodden upon that respect. You are trodden upon the respect. You are against borderless Africa. You are against a black girl being a queen in your land. You say she's an immigrant. But this person is not an immigrant. Maybe you should read your history books and know who is an immigrant. But listen. Somehow, I believe that you feel that you can survive alone. But you cannot survive alone. Because just yesterday, history reminds us that Madiba Nancy Mandela was not released from prison from your own effort. The entire African continent did that for you. And when you travel to Zambia, Dr. Kenneth David Kawunda did everything for him. Nigeria spent millions of money to make sure that apartheid was eliminated from your own geographical location. How do you pay us back? Xenophobia. Black hating blacks. You are the first person we are seeing exhibiting that in our continent. But you see, the freedom Africa that we are aspiring to get, we come, whether you like it or not. Maybe you feel because you have skyscrapers in Pretoria, you have skyscrapers in Johannesburg. Should I tell you something? We have that also in Kampala. We have it in Accra. You need to come to Lagos. There's skyscrapers there. So do not feel that you are just a big fish in a small pond. Africa is too large. That is why you have to travel. You need, it, need to travel. Because a hunter who comes back home with a goat is a thief. You need to change your ways before it's too late. For Africa must unite, whether you exhibit hate or not. Wisdom Africa is the principal thing. Of course, you know you can always request for books from me. All you need to do is to go to my bio right here on TikTok. Request for books, okay? I will give you books that will help you, okay? For mental slavery. Books that will let you know whom you are for free. This book is given to you by I and my friend J Magnify Online Library. The essence of this book is to get the young Africans to read and to understand. Because we believe that reading is a mental calisthenics. I love you and I care about you. Don't forget to follow me on the social media platform. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on TikTok. Right here. My backup page. Modern Day Time Cryer. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Modern Day Time Cryer. I love you and I care about you, Africa. Remember, wisdom Africa is the principal thing. Uh-huh.